Greetings, salutations, fret sprout. Just getting right on it today. No preamble or anything. We've got a guitar here. What is fret sprout? Here, let's get into the movie. What is fret sprout? We'll talk about that. How do I combat fret sprout? We'll talk about that. How do I fix fret sprout? We'll talk about that too. Lots of talking. Not a lot of action, because, you know, not a lot. More talking. All right, so what's fret sprout? Got one of these, right? Things made out of primarily wood and metal in the frets, right? All right, so what happens is as the seasons change, and we see this primarily, I think I got one sleeve up and one down. There we go. Um, we see this primarily in the northeast of uh, North America. Why? Uh, because it seems like most of the YouTube channels I watch are based in North America because they speak English. But it, I imagine the same is the case uh, through Europe. Uh, northern climates in the winter. Southern climates in the winter. Their winter. Our summer. That's how it works. So basically... What happens is, as the temperature goes down, lowers, as they say, uh, once you get below the freezing mark, water freezes. I think that's why they call it the freezing mark. So as such, there's a lot less humidity in the air. You got your furnaces running, they use up humidity because it's fire. Fire. Fire is dry, not a lot of wet fire. So when the temperature drops, Humidity drops, all right? Wood is susceptible to humidity. As it gets drier, wood becomes drier and will compress like a sponge. Think of it like a sponge, but on a microscopic level. Well, even on a microscopic level, you know, you see it mostly on newer guitars because why would you see it on older ones? Already done it, been there, done that. Wily veteran even. Uh, the wood on your neck narrows ever so slightly as it contracts with the dryness the metal however is not susceptible to humidity well it is in the case of rust but we're not talking about that don't worry about that that's another thing uh, metal is susceptible to heat changes metal can expand and contract uh, with temperature change um, but not to the point where it's not like your frets are going to grow out the sides of your guitar neck over the course of the summer and then retract right back in. However, when the wood does retract, you get the metal sticking out. Sprouting, if you will. Sprouts, right? All right, so we talked about what is fret sprout? How does it happen? We covered that. How do I fix it? Ah. All right. So there's a few ways to do it. Well, not really. There's only one way that I know of, and that's to use a file. To literally file down the excess metal surrounding, well, not actually not surrounding anything. It's poking out there. It's surrounded by air. So what do, what do I recommend? Uh, this right here. You're not going to be able to. There's a logo on it right there. Trust me. Can you get in the light? No. This is a Fret Guru Fret File. Man, I was able to say that all at once. And the nice thing about this is, is you can hear that. File Edge, Smooth Edge. File Edge, Smooth Edge. So you have two smooths, two files. And the nice thing about that is you can, because you want to get around the edges, right? So you got a nice smooth edge so you're not not carving up the fretboard. Just going to carve up the file next to the fretboard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you in over here. We'll set this up so you can see close. Because there's a... You, you want to... What do they call that? A victory roll? Yeah. You know, if you're in a fighter jet, you... And they do that belly roll as they're, you know, climbing or whatever. Victory roll. You want to do victory rolls with the fret file. So let's reposition you over probably about here. We'll take a look at this up close and personal. Okay, you're right in the movie here. All right, so let's uh, 
level this ever so slightly. How are we going to do that? We need to kick up that in. Well, this can be a load-bearing detuna case. Sure, just to bring that up a little more. There we are. Oh yeah, see, that's a little better. Let's uh, give us a little room here. Don't want to be all... This is going to be like 3D. If this was in 3D... Okay, so again, rough side, smooth side, right? Smooth side down. I'm just going to pull the strings out of the way. So, let's see. Of course, these are... Well, of course, there's one on that side. But, oh, there is one. So, it's just a little bit. And with this particular one, some frets... I don't know if you've ever seen a fret. Oh, yeah. We'll use fret erasers. All right. So, here's your fret sitting on top. With crown, right? Then you have the tang. Which is underneath like so that goes in the fret slot this part sits in the fretboard fret slot fret on top right so what we're going to do uh this particular one you can see you can't see the little sides going down so what they've done is they've stopped this part short and allowed that to stick over there we go yeah illustrations and such so we don't have to worry about a sometimes you do sometimes if the whole tang is sticking out once you take care of the top, you just run this. Let's use the smooth side, not to put a nice gash in, but a little, little something like that. So, find a fret. What I'm going to do is go in and curl. And you just, you know, if you feel a little something, something. And that's kind of it. Now, these fret files, uh, this was bought on that Jungle website. And uh, I think it retailed, I don't know, 40, 50 bucks Canadian. So figure 30, 40 bucks US. But hey, if you have several guitars, well worth it. If you've done any kind of metal working in the past, piece of cake, dude. Um, so you just want to curl it around. So, that, there's not a lot to it. I'm telling you, there's not a lot to it. You know, you could just kind of ease into it. You know, nothing nothing too overwhelming or anything like that. But this is the time of year. It's cold out. You know, there's white stuff on the ground. Snow. Yeah. Um, but... You know, I thought, well, let's just check out a guitar I thought about. Fret Sprout. Let's talk about Fret Sprout and what we can do to combat it. Um, if you don't want to go on the jungle, do a search for Fret Guru. Maybe they have a direct website. I'm sure that parts company, tool company, out of uh, the U.S. that doesn't advertise where their tools are made. You could probably get one from them. Pay more. Check out Solo Guitars. They probably have it. So there we are. Please like and subscribe. I'm Ben. Shout out to all my members and patrons and subscribers and Facebook group people and I don't know, Instagram followers. All that stuff. So there we are. Cheers. Back to your regularly scheduled programming or, or um, I don't know, an entertaining video. Peace, folks.